This is my new car, Amy. I love it. Do you like it? I do, I do. Yeah? So, so I'll tell you the story of how I got this thing uh, into its uh, time machine uh, status. Yes, please. So, so I bought a, a vintage DeLorean, okay, uh, around about Christmas time. Um, and I decided that I wanted to emulate the time machine from the movie, and I was going to do a conversion. Uh, word got around the gadget show. I said, well, you know what? We could use this on the stage at Gadget Show Live. And then the panic was on. We had 13 weeks to get it done. I used a great company called KMF, a manufacturing company up in Stoke. Should I talk you around the park? Yeah, please, they show, show us. Day and night, we worked so hard at the seminar. These are the vents that cooled the Mr. Fusion. That's a, a, a Crux coffee bean grinder that I've got off eBay. Nice. Just like the one they used in the film, although all of this is 3D printed below it. All these pipes, and that all gathered from various places around the UK. These are structured from a helicopter, capacitors, hand wham, 14 wines per curl, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, flux bands with neon, all that wiring is absolutely perfect. Uh, it even comes with its own dock, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Hey. There he goes. <laughs> mm, Dr. Emmett Bentley. Oh. Here he is. Very good. Yes. Ah, very good. This is very good. It's very good, Jason, but I am rather yeah. worried. I mean, um, I'm very grateful for this new job. That's very kind. Thank you very much. However, um, and although I bear a, a bit of a passing resemblance to Doc, yeah. um, I'm it's not like, just passing, but yeah. Uh, okay, I'm just, I don't know what you want me to do. Ah, oh, it's easy. All you have to do is every time you're astounded by something, exclaim, Great Scott. Great Scott. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Very good. You see, you're the yeah. man for the job. Let me show you ah. a few things. You can come out to the passage and I'll show you. And ladies and gentlemen in the audience, uh, some of the, the cool stuff inside, it can trigger sounds. Look, I've got all my sounds in here. See the engine start there. Isn't that great? It's got an 850 watt uh, uh, Alpine stereo in it. It's got uh, electronics here. The radio is exactly as it was, a plutonium chamber. Um, shall I put a, a date in there? Okay, try this. Uh, hang on. October. Uh, from the film, this date, 21st. Uh, I'll go 1955. I've not done that one yet. That comes up here, the destination time. Can you see that on the camera there? Now, if I was to drive this down the street and reach the famous 88 miles an hour that Doc did in the movie, then this would happen. I'll probably get a speeding fine, but this is exactly what happened. I'm going to simulate it now. That time, from the top, goes down to the middle and becomes our present time. We've now gone back in time to 9.55. Great Scott! Now, amazing! <laughs> now, the reason we brought the time machine out here uh, is because in the second movie, Marty travels from his own time in the mid 80s forward to the year 2015, which is where we are right now. See, we told you you were living in the future. Yeah, they came up with so many gadgets, didn't they? They that did. Movie, that was science fiction and are now science fact. Okay, so 2015, as you said, Otis. Um, so the, the guys in the Marty and Doc tried an augmented reality device. Do you remember that silver? Headset they had on, yeah? Yeah. John, right now, in 2015, is wearing Google Glass. Great Scott! Yeah. Uh, in the movie, uh, there is a dog being taken for a walk by a drone. And we now know that drones are probably the device of 2015. You can program them to travel along a predetermined route. I have an idea for you. Strap your dogs to one. <laughs> yeah. 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 What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. <laughs> She made it. My dog at 2,000 feet! <laughs> Remember the Nike Max, ladies and gentlemen, the famous Nike boots, set you, set your side camera, um, that uh, Marty wore in the second movie. I have an exact replica pair on here. They've got the lights, they look exactly there. The only thing they don't have, actually, is that they're not self lacing, aren't No, not yet, but Nike have promised that before the end of this year, self lacing boots will be available. Great Scott! <laughs> it's pretty cool, job. actually. Well, they predicted biometric home security, and we do have that. They predicted web conferencing. We have the internet, we have webcams, and we have software like Skype. Yeah, and also massive high-definition TVs, and we've pretty much nearly all got them in our houses right now. But guys, there is one thing that's in the movie, apart from the real time machine, that they predicted that we don't have in the shops yet. But I reckon if they were in the shops, we'd all be going to get them. Yes? She's talking about the hoverboard, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to see it work? So do I! <laughs> oh, I so want it to work! I've wanted it to work since 1985, and all of us on the Gadget Show, all oh, the times we've, we've tried. You know, it's not for want of trying. 
Off we started in 2005 with a simple single engine version. Then we tried this to. This is Adam for Talk Audio TV. This is the exact moment after an entire week of Gadget Show Live has been learning about Mr. Fusion, the most amazing 1980s DeLorean car. And, well, these two guys here who are looking a little bit sort of shell shocked, <laughs> on the right of your picture, that's Mr. Ash Booth. Who is, I'm not paying attention, there's a young man taking pictures here. On the left is Mr. Mitch Pirey. Now, guys, what is in this DeLorean from Alpine? We've got the um, Alpine Let's, Apple let's get in a bit closer in yeah. here and let Mitch tell us all we've about our, it. We've got our new ILX 700 CarPlay unit, which is basically a doubled in CarPlay system. Is that down there? That is basically fitted just behind here. Uh -huh. As you know, the DeLorean's only got a singled in slot. So oh, of course, nowhere, I know the DeLorean's only <laughs> Nowhere else okay. to fit it other than there. Yes. Um, we've got uh, three pairs of SPG uh, 13C, uh, 13C2s. There is Three the most panel. wonderfully musty old car smell coming off of this car. I have to Ash, say. Ash has obviously created the fiberglass work for the panels. So Ash, uh, you did uh, this yeah, sort of stuff in your own vehicles as well in time, haven't you? A little bit of me in the DeLorean. Yes. A little but, bit mental. But the SPG 17 CS components in the front kit wells, again followed by fiberglass uh, installation by Ash. So uh, how many, um, let's put a light on here, how many uh, amplifiers are actually in, in so here, guys? Two, two five-channel PDR amplifiers. Uh, which are basically hidden behind the Mr. Fusion. And um, we've also got an 8 inch Type R SWR8 D2 subwoofer as well. There's a speaker and a footwell, I don't know if you heard Mitch telling us about the amps again. I love that flux capacitor in there. <laughs> I believe that Auto Audio in London actually do stock and fit flux capacitors, as well as being very keen on, <laughs> on Alpine amplification. They put PDRs on all the supercars, don't they? Yes, they do, yes. They did. Well, we started without him, but uh, but he's come out here. Is it? We started yeah, is without it? you, Governor. That's all right. These, right. these are the geezers who uh, helped you, you do this, I gather, Jason. How are you doing? Great to much. see you, man. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. So, are you happy with that when? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Fantastic. all function? Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant, yeah. <laughs> I fired just one sound effect up so that you could hear that for yeah. you. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, man. So, if we uh, press any one of these. Middle one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you love that. Absolutely brilliant. How much fun has this been for you, Mr. Bradbury? It's been exhausting, man. Yes? Yeah, it's been absolutely exhausting. And really wonderful. <laughs> Do you know what that, that means? I'm going to get recognised by YouTube and charged. Turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> I love that montage as well. That was awesome. Yeah, it's important because not everyone knows the movie. I know it sounds crazy, yeah. but we have a lot of kids in the audience. Exactly. But I tell you what, they'll know it now because they'll be... Uh, They'll be, you know, intrigued to find out about all this technology. It's actually an incredible thing, isn't it, that they created back there in '85? It so really was the uh... but just in terms of design, the pre the predictive nature of the movie, the music, you know, the acting, the actors, the characters. I think that's why it stood the test of time, you know. It's such a cultural reference. I have problems with being ignored, and I say it's my Marty McFly floor. Yeah. Don't call him chicken and don't ignore this huge Adam Rayner. I get awfully upset. No, but it's, no. thanks ever so much for. Uh, that is my pleasure. It's been a heck of a week because you must be exhausted, Gavin. I'm absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hesitating before using the word. I am wasted. I'm absolutely wasted. Well. It's been worth it. Partly because of the amount of time it took me. Be very yes. careful there. No, sorry. Uh, to to um, get this thing done, you know. But. Uh, <laughs> Was it's up worth it. it. Huh? Up against it. Yeah, man. Then. Thanks to you, it's bro. It's traditional. Thank you very Thank much. It's great work, boys. But yeah, we've had a huge team on it. Um, Mitch, Nigel, Darren, Luke, uh, all the team at KMF. There's so many people I can't even yes. name them uh, because the rush was on to get it done for this, you know. But in the end, it's good because we got it. We got it finished. That's one of the, the biggest traditions of insane car audio is getting it done because yeah. it's theatre. Like your curtains up, you've got to be there dancing. And my God, you guys were. It's crazy. In, and in the bonnet there, you've got uh, two leisure yeah. batteries. You've got all the wiring. You've got. <laughs> Uh, amps at the back that you'll never see, these beautiful blue amps oh, yeah, in the yeah. back of the car that you'll never see because the panel's there with the fluxes and everything. Um, and then some discreet little tweeters, because we want to try and keep it as A car real as possible. I mean, for example, these, we're gonna, um, we're gonna colorize these so that they're not quite as obvious but while, while maintaining that position. Just filming, gotcha. uh, David. Um, but uh, yeah, and the unit itself, which is um, behind the car uh, seat, the driver's seat, Yes, I found out all about that. It's the, uh, the magical new CarPlay one, isn't it? Yeah, which is, that, it's important that it's um, out of sight because, you know, it's a beautiful thing. But there was a single in slot yeah. in the car and yeah, it's got so to be kept on here. And it's gone and it's movie perfect. And Brilliant. That's it. Jason, thank you so, so much. Thank you. I've had a fabulous show and uh, here's to many, many more years of Gadget Show, Governor. Thanks, man.